Welcome back. It's Wednesday at noon. We are Insights at the She Shed. I'm Julie Hasowitz with Remax Suburban. I'm Jeannie Goring, Neighborhood Loans, Money in the Middle. Jamie Safransky, Realtor, Remax Suburban. So today we're going to talk about types of homes. So I'm going to start with detached homes. That's a home where you own the yard all the way around you. It can be a two-story, a ranch, or even a multifamily where it's two, three, or four flat. If you get above four, then it's considered commercial. So right. we're talking about single family homes. So those, that's kind of the ty types of detached. Right. right, so as a mortgage perspective, we're talking about, you know, commercial again is a whole different ballgame, different yeah. way. We're not getting into that. Altogether. We're so not nothing getting above a four flat. Right. But as far as a uh, single family detached home, again, multifamily up to four flat, um, those are probably the less least amount of risk involved from a lending perspective uh, because traditionally if you own land and you're taking care of your home the likelihood of you um, not paying on it is very uh -huh. slim to none because you're gonna lose a lot okay uh, so from lending perspective that's, that's you know, less go. risk as far okay, as okay so then we go. have attached homes so attached homes can be townhomes condos um, shoot Duplexes, duplexes, duplexes. Yeah, duplexes. Mm -hmm. um, and so with a town and the thing about townhomes, which we have learned, is even though it looks like a townhome, it's a two-story, it still could be held as a condo. You don't own the land; you just own the piece of property. And in some cases, we've also found with townhomes, you think, okay, if I buy a townhome, I don't have to take care of the roof. Well, sometimes you are responsible for the roof, and you do have an association. Yes. So townhomes are totally different and condos as well and that's a whole nother thing and you always have somebody attached to you yeah so what's the risk with that yep. I would think there'd be more of a risk for a lender yes and actually a true townhome again is a um, little less risky than a condominium and the reason is okay. is the townhome is um, if it's a true townhome the association then covers the roof covers the walls, oh, okay. covers the area around and common areas. Where as a condo, um, they do that as well, but your individual unit though is just you. So if something falls apart, if the wall caves in or whatever, it's not necessarily the, the association's uh, responsibility. responsibility. Like sometimes and, we get into windows, doors, like you said, the roof yeah. thing too. It's a whole, you gotta look into that. Absolutely. Right. It's all about your association yeah. you and need what to contact. you agree to, right? Yes, you need to contact right. that association if you're looking to purchase one. I yeah. would try and contact them and find out what do they cover, you know, because right. it can be different. Right. right, and a lot of times, like she, they were saying, a townhome, even if it's two story and you think, oh gosh, it's a townhome, you know, listing sheet says perhaps a townhome, yeah. right. you still need to look it up and verify that it's not a condo because as these things were being built, uh, condominium associations were less expensive for the builders to set up than a true townhome association was. Okay. So many of these townhomes that look like townhomes, you know, quack like a yeah. duck. What is that saying? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> this one's not they, really a duck. This is not a duck. <laughs> not <all>. a duck. <laughs> they, it's a chipmunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So that has to be checked out for sure because you want to make sure that you know what the association rules are and what it covers and what part of your structure it covers. So if you can't get a hold of the association, can we look on the taxes? You Shouldn't can look on the taxes. Okay. You yeah. can look up the legal description. Description. You can look up the recorded documents to find the legal description. The legal description will tell you right in there if it's a condominium declaration recorded on blah 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 blah. Then you know it's a true condominium. Got All it. Right. All right. right. Okay. Thanks. All You're right. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks. See you next time.